So, what's up? Welcome to the Cozy Corn, nigga. So, what I have to say, basically, I just came to, like, give a quick spiritual tip of something that I just witnessed for myself that happened for me. And I just want to share this experience with y'all and let y'all know that this happened and that y'all are powerful beings and to believe in your power and believe in your strength and believe that you've changed, okay? So, basically, I'm going to keep it really short. A ex of mine, my basically my first boyfriend after I got out of college. So, basically, I, I consider myself an actual adult after I got out of college because, nah, bro, that was still high school. But, um, I was 19, I met this guy, but to keep it short, he basically, my first ex of me being an actual adult, how I consider myself, but me like have being an awakened adult and knowing what the fuck to actually do out here instead of just going to college, that shit didn't teach me shit about the real world. And he found my YouTube recently and like commented on my last like, my date three, he commented and was like, oh my God, can I see you? And I was like, I like screenshotted it and sent it to my mom and everything. And I was like, bro, this nigga is not getting into my life. Like, are you weird? Like, are you crazy? Like, I've grown so much since that. Like, I'm not even the same person, like, to even entertain it. Me doing shadow work, you saw the same person? I've done a lot of shadow work. You still see that same girl? Damn, your vision is really fucked. Why was I ever laying with you? Let me talk my shit. Like, cause that's honestly how I feel. Like, why was I ever, why was I ever entertaining that? That it can't even get this. Like, he deleted it, y'all. So y'all ain't gonna be able to see who it was. Like, temptation is a motherfucker. And like I said on my little failed three mile hike, bro. Yo, something good is happening for me, bro. And the only reason why my past would try to come back is to fucking test me. And fuck the test. You can pass on the test. You can pass the test. Or you can just say no to the test. I'm going to pass the test and pass on the test and say no to the test. I'm going to say, I'm going to do them all. You can do them all. But I was just like, nigga, and then you're going to unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck. You're going to make it mad. I don't give a fuck, Keisha. Bitch. Universe be testing, but it could be worse. Dead ass, believe in your powers, believe in your manifestations, write down your manifestations, write down what you want to bring into your life. And yes, sometimes the universe will place things in your fucking way to see, hey, you still that person again? You still that person again? I'm checking in. You still that person or not? I just need to know. And I feel like, no. I'm not, at least not that one. But I'm not that girl no more. Like, I really want people to understand. Like, one dude from my past, like, ended up making an Instagram out of nowhere. Like, nigga don't have social media at all. They had Instagram. And they all popped up on all my Instagrams because I got four of them. So, people be blocking me and shit. Bitch, I'm, I could be crazy. I could be crazy in 1.5 seconds, but I don't be. Because I'm not, I don't care about you that much to, like, go stalk you on my other Instagrams. Exactly. Believe in your power. Preserve your energy for the best you. Because that's the one that matters. Remember, remember that you have a future you that depends on you right now. <laughs> so that means stay present, but think of the future sometimes. At times, not all the time. Hey, me all just like this. You know what I'm saying? Um... Because life is life. It's real. Only the goofies do. 
your film in doobie do my doobie load. Everybody talking about my motherfucking nigga chance. Nigga. This happened over the last like five days. Cause I dropped my um date four and everything and it had happened. And I went on live. It had it happened. But I lost my subscriber. Oh well. I don't want you watching me. I'm infatuated. Like I don't care. And I just want to come on here and kind of like look low key, talk my shit because yeah, I'm popping. Listening back to the streets. That's what I did. And I didn't give him no rhyme. I just said, boy, by now. Gone, gone. Back where you came from. Because I want no pause. I want no pause. I'm chilling. I just wanted to share that with y'all, girl. I don't want no parts in that. Um, yeah. A lot of exes been, like, looking and peeping, and I really don't care. And I'm probably gonna have a lot of messages on Instagram, bro, like, from this one dude, because I just blocked his number. I really didn't care. If you're not consistent, if you're not giving me the one thing that I know I fucking need, I'm not gonna waste my time with you. Like, dead ass. Especially when you wanna, like... <sighs> pressure me into doing stuff like you want to pressure me and be like oh we gonna be this we gonna be that bro you just talking out the side of your neck i ain't got time for that i want something tangible i want something actually formed not rushed honey you don't rush a fucking house together you don't rush and go get a car and if you do you dumb all that other stuff is really distractions and i really hope that y'all are swaying away from any distractions to try to come in and grasp onto your new energy protect your treasures hmm. don't jump into situations with people because you think they're a good person or you think they like you or you think they're interested in you people can like really be faking like and people are good at faking let me tell you People are good at faking. Know what I know now, bro? You give me some funny ass energy, bro. I'm fucking. I'm not fucking with you. Straight up. Shit pisses me off. Protect your energy out here. Grasp on to what you need. Um, do whatever you need to do to heal yourself. Do your shadow work. Shit. Do whatever makes you fucking happy. Sometimes you just gonna have to feel away, bro. I mean, feel no ways, but like, sometimes you're gonna have to feel away. Period. Feel away, feel away. Cause that song is blocked. Y'all ain't know that. Yeah, I got blocked. I got blocked a long time ago on like this old ass channel. Yeah, it's Layla Beauty. Go look it up. But like, yeah, I had a playlist video, bro. Could have been lit. But let me tell you, Drake is a bitch. Damn! I just really came to tell y'all protect y'all energy and I'm telling y'all anything that tries to come in don't let it in just don't just don't you don't have to entertain it at all you don't have to say nothing like and it'll just go away on itself you don't even have to tell it go away and just ignore it and go about your day and keep moving and keep doing what you're doing. Because you a gym. Obviously. Because they wouldn't be looking for you if you wasn't. Can't talk my shit. I did. Feel yourself sometimes. <laughs>